All right, we just need to sign on one more fish for the tank. All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. We've had our saltwater aquarium up and running for nine months now. And today we're gonna head to the aquarium shop to go get another fish for the tank. So if you guys haven't been keeping up, this is actually our seventh video in our saltwater aquarium playlist. I'll pop up a little picture of the playlist over here for you guys. If you want, go back and catch up on all the videos. So let's load up everything in the truck and head over to the shop. And one more thing, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button for me. It helps YouTube promote the videos and whatnot. So let's uh, go get a fish. All right, we just need to decide on one more fish for the tank. I want something small and tiny. That yellow fish right there has some wild eyes. Look at these guys. Right now I'm gonna look over all the fish and find a one good small tiny fish that'll go good in our 10 gallon tank back at the house. I'll put it to a little music montage as I show you guys all the fish. Clear cut winner. We're gonna bring home this clown goby. They're uh, coral compatible. So let's like, get them bagged up and bring them back home to the tank. Better for the fish, has more nutrients and stuff for them. I'll take that. I'll get the same brand that we got last time. We got our fish. I had to get some new fish food. And then also we got some mice shrimp to give the fish a little bit of variety in their diet. So we have everything we need. Let's get back home and get to work. All right, guys, back at home base. New fish, meet clownfish. Well, let's get him acclimated and hopefully uh, everyone gets along. Right, so we have our bag floating in the water, acclimating. And after the water becomes the same temperature, I'll start to mix some of the tank water with the water in the bag. And then eventually we'll get our fish into the tank. When we release the fish, I wanna just release him straight into the tank so he can go hide wherever he chooses. And if the clownfish do decide to give them a hard time, which I don't think they will, I do have this isolation box that I can throw them in, but I don't think it's gonna come to that. Okay, it's time to put them in the tank. So let's take this bag out and uh, get them in the net. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut the bag so it's a little shorter. Oh, these scissors are horrible. I'm just gonna rip it. got a bag open. I'm gonna lay my net right here. The water into this bowl. I got him in the net, so let's put him in his new home. I got the bowl and the fish right here, and we are just gonna put him straight into the tank. All we're gonna do is reverse that net. We're gonna let him swim out. All right, it's actually been like a minute or two since I added him to the tank, and Right when I added him, he swam behind the rocks and I finally found him in this cave back there. Hopefully by tomorrow he's out and about and we can get some better shots of him. I think you guys are going to like the name I came up for with him. So our yellow clown go goby has officially came out of hiding. I think he looks awesome. Alright, so I was almost about to let you guys name him, but I came up with the best name. We're going to name him Pac-Man because he's yellow like Pac-Man. Pac-Man is the only yellow thing in the tank, really, besides besides our new Zoas that we got just a bit ago. They have a little bit of yellow in them, but I'm really surprised that the clownfish don't even care he uh, exists. They just swim all around him, and I haven't seen them go after him once. Well, Pac-Man has a name, but I really haven't even named our two clownfish, so how about you guys drop some names in the comments, and we'll pick the best two names, a male and female name. After you guys come up with a bunch of names, I'll pick two of them and I will let you know what we have decided. We got our new fish food. I'm gonna open it up. This is gonna be my first time feeding frozen fish food. Let's feed some fish. All right, let's get this fish cover off. With this new frozen food, we have to pop out one of these cubes. So we're gonna cut one of these in half and what we have here is a small container of some of the display water. And to feed the frozen food, we're gonna thaw it out into display tank water. We're gonna let the mysis shrimp thaw out and then we'll feed the fish with it. 
Now that our mice and shrimp are all thawed out, we can add it to the display tank. And then all we have to do is dump it in. And he went straight for it. Let's see how the clownfish do. Cool. Well, he went straight for one and that he ate one so far. Let's add some more. He ate a couple. Hopefully he'll eat more over the next few days. Oh, he might be going for another one there. I think that went pretty well. I got the tank lid back on. I'm gonna turn the pumps back on. And I would say we have a successful addition into our reef aquarium. A couple fun facts on our new fish Pac-Man. Yellow clown gobies can actually secrete a toxic mucus when they feel threatened. They also have the ability to change sex. So he could go from male to female or she could go from female to male. Their color difference is just awesome. The, the yellow, the orange, and we're definitely even starting to get more coral color. We're getting the oranges on the bottom, red, and the greens, aqua. So I'm really happy with how the tank's coming out so far. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you guys today. If you've enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my Instagram, so I'll leave my link on the bottom right there. Check it out. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and until the next video, peace. Yeah.